Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I want to show you two unofficial or currently unreleased features in iOS 11 that could be making their way to the software later this year or at some point in the future. I think both of these are super exciting, and the first one I experienced myself. When I hit the power button to turn on my iPhone screen and see the lock screen on iOS 11 Beta 4 just a few days ago, I experienced what you're seeing right now, which is a landscape version of the lock screen on an iPhone 7. Now previously and currently at the time of making this video, landscape lock screens were reserved for iPad models or iPhone Plus models, so the iPhone 6 Plus, 6S Plus, and iPhone 7 Plus as well. But I've been experiencing this on my iPhone 7, and I checked around the internet to see that a few other users, even with an iPhone SE, have been seeing the same bug come up in previous iOS 11 betas, which leads me to believe that maybe, just maybe, Apple will be releasing this feature for all iPhones at some point in the future. I feel like that would just make sense because, as you can see, the lock screen looks really good. Nothing is is misaligned or out of place, and notifications and text fit on the screen really well. So it makes me think that Apple might be testing this iOS 11 landscape lock screen feature for a new iPhone with a different size screen, like the upcoming iPhone 8. We actually saw the official design of that leak from Apple themselves just a day or two ago. So if you want to see that, click on this link at the top right hand corner of the screen. It's still pretty crazy, can't believe that it happened, but this feature could be in testing for that iPhone, which is going to have a 5.8 inch OLED display, or maybe a 5.51 inch display when you take out the function area or row at the bottom of the screen, which is the next thing that I want to talk about. A Reddit user posted this a few hours ago, which is an image of them 3D touching on the YouTube app, and they claim that this function row of a virtual home button appeared at the bottom of their screen. Now, there's been a lot of people calling this a fake image. Clearly, this wouldn't be something too hard to Photoshop with just a few clicks because the detail isn't there and it's a pretty simple image. But I don't know, this looks pretty real and it's been confirmed that the iPhone 8 will have a function row at the bottom of the screen where you'll be able to access the home button and I'm sure a few other functions as well. Whether this is the final version that we'll see in the iPhone 8, I'm not sure. So it looks like it could be real, but at the same time, it could totally be a fake image. I look at the Reddit user's history and they'd only started posting a day ago. So they're new, could be an anonymous account, could totally be a fake. But nonetheless, it's interesting because this is how it could look. Another Reddit user made this mock-up of how the function row would look in Apple Pay on a purported iPhone 8 model. So two features in iOS 11 that I thought were worth taking a look at. The landscape lock screen is definitely more realistic. Maybe Apple would add it to more or all iPhones in the future, but it could just be in testing for the upcoming iPhone 8. And the touch bar or function area at the bottom of the screen, while there is a fair chance that this could be completely legit, I'm just not entirely sure if it's real. It looks kind of cheesy. It could be a very early feature in testing. And I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Is this real? Is this an actual function row that has been leaked in iOS 11 beta 4? Or do you think it's absolutely bogus? If you enjoyed the video, as always, it would really help me out if you hit that like button down below. And of course, hit subscribe if you want to see more on iOS 11 and the iPhone 8 in the future. I've been Sam. Hope all of you are doing great. And I will talk to you in the next video.